Okay, first step for the new engine. Here's the new engine. Engine hoist. Got the old one completely ready to go, I think. I need to strip more stuff off of the new engine. Okay, where is it? Oh, I'm gonna take off the intake manifolds. I'll take off this because I still have the other one. Heat shield I might replace. I think this one got smashed. This is the bracket right here. This big, huge bolt here. I think it'll be a great place to lift from. I took this off without seeing it. All it does is hold on. I think the wire for the O2 sensor. That's all it does. So I reused the other one, but that's a nice big bolt. Take this off. I gotta take out all these stupid brackets. Uh. The engine onto the hoist. This would be first. If this works. This hood stays. Okay, there we go. I feel the weight going away. I still got one bolt in the training. So it doesn't pop out the bottom. Ready? Mm -hmm. I thought it went off. It does that. You can just touch the screen and it oh. turns back on. No, I'm it. Okay, here goes. Separation, exactly here. So, um, I think it's the tight. I think I'm gonna have to, uh, and I need to pull the engine hoist back. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and pump it up one more time. Well, I'm gonna try to, get about an inch of clearance. Got every bolt out of it. Oh, it's off. It's up on the front. I think it's more cool. It comes out always. I think I've got everything off on the back. The only thing on the back is the exhaust. It's got one stud I can't get out. That's gonna fight me. So now. Can you go ahead and pump it up? Uh, Bye. Let's see if I can get this chain off. Keep going. Hold on a second. I guess I could just whip that bolt out. This is my safety net. I don't know if I want to do that. <coughs> oh, I can put this chain on in two places. Aren't we just, when I'm pumping this up underneath there, aren't I just pulling on these things? Uh, almost. You're about to. You just start to touch. Uh oh. Um, uh, yeah, let me, uh, I'm gonna have to take this chain off. Is it a tin? Where's that other go? Right beside you. Okay. The extension is right there. Uh, I just want to use both. So I need to put it back on. Okay, the chain is off. Okay. I'm sure you could go in here and set this thing to stay on. Yeah. Okay, once I get this, okay, no more safety net. Okay, so now, engine support bar is still holding the transmission, so. Let me figure, go ahead and let's lower it down a little bit. Here, just film it, I'll dry. And I'm gonna take off. Because because there's one exhausted on the back, I can't get off. Is it not completely or not? Here, <laughs> Feels like it is, but. Uh. I may have to put a horse case, I may have to put a jack under the trans and take this bar off and just go straight up. Because I do need to go straight up. I think I'm gonna have to do that. I don't think this thing is gonna let me go. I got it, I'm filming it. Oh, here we There's actually two transmission jacks. Two transmission mounts, I should say. Mounts. So in theory, it shouldn't fall. 
Okay, so now I'm going to take off the support bar. Okay, so now... You want me to undo this side? Uh, it's off. I mean, the only thing you can do is you can actually pull these hooks out, but... Yeah, you just throw that on the floor somewhere. Something's holding on to that right side. Yeah, Can we lower it down a little bit? No, hold on. Let me see. The only thing is just one exhaust stud, and they even went to Lowe's and bought another tool. And I can't get out the stud, and I just realized the new one doesn't have a stud, so I gotta buy one or get that one out. The stud is going through the exhaust pipe, and the exhaust pipe doesn't come out easily. Uh. So, I'm gonna have to go that way. Can't just go straight up. So I gotta go frontwards. So that being said, let's try that. Trip on that. Move anything. Space that screen in here. Okay. As long as I get everything off the front. Can you More? Push? I need to go this way. Don't, an inch. Don't hit the hood. You gotta go. I already looked around. I already looked around the whole thing. Uh, what would be holding it? What's oh. right down? Yeah, it's exhaust manifold. And it's, it's all good not connected. No. Nope. Uh, that's what it's tugging on when you're pulling that thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's. Well, this is all coming off too. That's all together. Right, but it's, oh, I see it now. I see that. Just bottomed out on there. Mm-hmm. What I'm probably gonna have to do is put on two nuts. I have a stutter mobile tool, but it never works. I can't unscrew this one. Is that blue? Is that just me or is that blue? That like uh, blue. yeah, it might. It, it's a little darker right there. Blue is Loctite. I wonder if it's Loctite one. I need to get yep. this beach out. I bought a seven millimeter socket. I never owned it. Maybe why Loctite on it? I bought a seven millimeter three eighths dry yesterday from Lowe's. Mm -hmm. I can't break it loose. It feels like it's gonna break. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it broke, that's fine. I can buy a new one, but... Did you spray anything up in oh, there? Yeah, yeah. Mine part of... there you, you have to remove the right side axle because... I don't know if you can see the transmission... Not the transmission. The engine is hooked behind the axle. And with this axle out, it makes life easier getting these bolts out. So this axle has to come out at the end. That Barry, you, you learned after the fact. Yeah, note to self: drain the oil from the CVT. I just changed this oil too, like a few months ago. And then take the rear, uh, the right side axle out. There's no way to get the engine out. I don't know if you can see this, but this groove here. here. No, I was being lazy. There's no way in hell to get this engine out without the axle out. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. But there's like a lip here. Mm -hmm. and it holds the engine. Oh, yep, it sure does. So, probably getting out more oil than I did by draining the pan and the tube. All right, I'll let it. Okay, Ready? so pump up. I'm gonna see if I can. Whoa, jeez. That's a good sign. That tranny needs to go up a bit. Oh, I think I want to raise the tranny. <sighs> so much shit in here. Uh, is a half inch. I'm helping pull it in today, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna do the live stream thing. Coming out. Here, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna raise the transmission back up, get it more level. Uh, the training jack. Now that we made it massive. Uh, that's a little bit better, I think. Move the to touch. Okay. Okay, I decided to remove the water pump housing because I didn't want it to hit the air conditioning lines. I haven't removed the harmonic balancer, but I think I should have because I got it out, but it's really tight. So I think on the new engine, harmonic balancer is coming out. 
it's easy to replace. So now, let's see if we can get the engine out. Hood's all the way up. I can lower the car down more. The car is 12 feet in the air. Yeah, we're free now. We're free. Hold on. We're free. Oh, I guess that exhaust is out. I forgot about that. Keep going up. Hit your light, I Who guess. Who cares? Keep going up. We're going to go over this. So I think what we may do is, this could be tricky. <laughs> it's a piece of wood. I think I should lower the car. I can lower the car. Hold on. Well, we got to raise the hood at the same time. Look, I got two hands. Oh, you can't shit. raise the hood anymore, can you? Yeah, the hood goes up high. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'm going to. I'm gonna watch out when I do the car. Watch the engine, let's make sure it doesn't put a hole in the hood. I'm going down with the car. Oh, you're what? Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Am I about something, to hit? Popped. something popped over here. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll leave it over. Now we're good. Okay. Okay, so what do we need. You want me to lower it oh. and you, you can watch. How about that? Yeah, why don't you lower the car? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of pull the engine out and push and go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm just dug the water up. You gone? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Your creeper oh, or your what? transmission jack thing is. Oh, shit. Good idea. That's under there. Hold on. I'm going to get that up. Good point. Transmission jack. Doesn't know we're going down. <laughs> Doesn't want to allow it. Okay. Maybe. Okay, so go down with the car. Go hold on a second, this bike is in the way. Okay, keep going. Stop, stop. stop. Hold on, hold on. I gotta go down with the engine. Hold on, shit. Or they gotta go up with the hood. You might be able to reach it. Okay, again. hold on. That's as high as the hood goes, so. Uh, so uh, I need to actually raise, the engine needs to be closer to the cradle. There's too much dead space. Crap. Or I could take out this course board, which I really want to deal with. This is too much space. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is before the You want me to help? Um, can you just no, help it over? No, I want to go right over. This needs to be shorter. I can get rid of this next time. But uh, for now, Let's just keep going out with the car and I'll hold the hood and see how much. You ready? Down slowly. Keep going. It's actually going backward, which is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going the right direction. It's getting better and better. Keep going. You're actually perfect. You're perfect. Hold on. Gonna go back where it goes. The hood's perfect. It was designed to be pulled off the top. Okay, the hood is on fine. The engine is clear. The car is on the ground. And I'm slipping and sliding in water and all. Okay, I'm gonna grab the camera. Here's the main boys, look at that. She's out. Now I just got an operation cleanup. So it is out from the engine, what it looks like. Come from over here to see the front. So. I think there's no way in hell I'm going to put it back in with this on. Because this wastes a lot of space. Just that bolt alone, mm -hmm. that's like an inch. You're going to be so. able to get back to it though? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a huge. This is totally. Space. This is what I wanted to change. I bought one of these when I bought the car four years ago. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't get to this bolt because it hits. But I've already got a new one. So, But this is easy. This hard. Water pump? No idea. But there's a cover I was trying to remove to fix the clatter. Mm -hmm. This engine runs perfect, but it makes a clacking noise. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to try to replace it with that, change that cover, so just changed the engine, it was cheap. Alright, you can turn it off. Okay, so the lifting points I used were this 14 millimeter head. It's only an 8 millimeter bolt, but it's got a 14 millimeter head. That's on the back of the engine by the exhaust, and on the front I used one of the motor mount bolts. Just took this off. It's a 16 millimeter head, but it's like a 10 millimeter bolt. Oh, there we go, that's off. And so, hopefully the battery didn't die during the engine removal, but I had to take out the water pump. I did not take off the hormone balance, but I'm going to to put it back in. I went ahead and ran a ratchet strap to the starter hole. 
the fender well afterwards just to keep the tranny from popping around try to get it level and I should have drained the tranny all before I did that because I ended up spilling everything but AC is still there got a ratchet strap pulling that to the front bumper front tie bar yeah I gotta show them our mess your mess the spoiled mechanic Okay, so I'm gonna remove the harmonic balancer to give me a couple of inches of clearance because there's just no room. Yeah, but this is. That doesn't get in the way. That one off. That it doesn't. No. Oh. And you can't get that bolt easily, so there you go. It's coming off. All right. It's off. So you just need some, need what? some six millimeter. I think they're one six by one point zero thread bolts that are. Super long. If you need another long, I'll measure them later. But I've done this same trick on every Nissan I've had, so I've already had the bolts handy. Most harmonic balance bolts don't come with six millimeter bolts, so I bought these years ago. All right. So now, get the fan. oil actually came out of here. Not anymore. Ooh, that was like I don't know why oil came out of there earlier. Something might okay. have gotten hit and compromised. So that should be good. Now, uh, so this is broken, so i got to change this into real quick. I'm not going to put that back in. I'll do it later. You can turn it off. 